In one of Lady Gaga's music videos, she has a pair of sunglasses with burning cigarette butts on it. It's actually not that far off from the reality is that your sunglasses are made of the same plastic that's in cigarette butts. It's just in a different form. It's in like a solid, thicker form here as opposed to a very finely foamed spun fiber. We've been always looking at things that are very challenging waste streams, and cigarette butts has been on our radar because it's the most littered waste stream in the planet. 37% of all uh, cigarettes end up as roadway litter, which is about four and a half trillion cigarettes per year around the world. The idea of TerraCycle is to make things that are non-recyclable, recyclable. And we do that by setting up national collection and solution systems for everything that today you can't recycle, from chewing gum to potato chip bags, to juice pouches to even cigarette butts. So we thought it would be really interesting to deploy cigarette recycling stations every sort of 10 or 20 yards in densely populated areas and see what effect that would have on cigarette litter. And it turned out the cigarette litter rate reduced tremendously. I think that people toss cigarette butts aside because what do you do with the cigarette? When you have it in your hand, it's smelly, it's dirty, and you don't want to put it in your pocket. You don't want to hold it for a while till you find a garbage can, so you just flick it. And flicking a cigarette butt has become socially acceptable. You need somewhere to put it for you not to flick it on the ground. But if that thing is just a normal station, then it's sort of like, you know, like you're not going to litter, but it ends up going to a landfill. It's not necessarily a super positive outcome, at least you're not littering. But when that station becomes a recycling station, not only is there a place to put the cigarette, but now you feel positive because you know it's going to go to a positive use instead of just ending up in a landfill somewhere. The cigarettes get shredded and separated basically into two key parts. The organic pieces, which is the ash, tobacco, and paper, those are composted. And then the inorganic aspect, which is the filter, that is then melted into various plastic products, from a park bench all the way to a plastic pallet. We have the capacity to take billions of cigarette butts. So it's really not an issue of can we process, it's more of a question of are people willing to collect. 